In this video, I want to show you how I miraculously recovered my data from a dropped hard drive using a rather unsafe method. With that being said, don't try this at home. I'm not an expert in this field when it comes to data recovery. If what's on the drive is important, I highly suggest you ask a professional data recovery service instead. Normally, I'm a super careful person when it comes to not dropping things or remembering to make regular backups, especially for important things like photos, given how rarely we print any photos like we used to in the past. Two unfortunate events happened lately. I dropped my three terabyte Western digital hard drive, the mechanical type, without having any recent backup of it. Having used computers for so many years, I think this is the first time that I made such a disastrous clumsy mistake. Thinking back, the first thing I probably shouldn't do is to plug it right back into the computer. But then paradoxically, if I don't plug it in, how do I know if it would work just fine without any issue? In my case, it didn't work. When I plugged the drive back in, the disk would spin up but not show up on the desktop. Here's the part where I decided to crack open the drive. In hindsight, I should have researched more or sent it to a professional, but I was impatient and stressed. And in my mind, I could somehow fix it by opening the drive because reasons. Even though this could have easily destroyed all the data by opening it, pushed on by my stupidity, I grabbed my iFixit tools, not sponsored, and started taking it apart. Not that I'm encouraging you to do this, but if you are interested, to open the plastic case, I used a sharp knife to pry along the edge. Once done, the internals can be lifted out. Interestingly, the two and a half inch drive is a WD blue variant. Remove the torque screws and the hidden ones underneath the stickers to open the top cover. I must stress this is the last final warning. This is probably the point of no return. And just like Kevin Flynn, I got in. Unlike Flynn though, I did not see any ships, motorcycles or circuits like freeways. Nothing stood out to my untrained eyes. It's like when a car breaks down and as a guy I have to open the bonnet. Hood, for our American friends, pretend to know what's going on and just tell your disappointed passenger that, yep, it's broken. At this point, I was pretty desperate and even attempted to run the drive with the cover open. No idea what I was expecting to achieve by doing so. After a couple more attempts without success, I decided to close the cover, say my prayer and accept the catastrophic loss. However, a miracle happened. After I closed the cover and screwed the lid back on, thinking it was the end, the drive did show up again on my desktop, somehow, when I tried to plug it in for the last time. With no time to spare, I immediately tried to back up all the files to another drive. I waited anxiously for the files to copy. It was a painful slow process at around 40 to 50 megabytes per second, which in theory could take up to, honestly, I don't know how long it would take for the terabytes of data to transfer, all was going well until at some point it would randomly grind to a halt or fail to copy certain files. Presumably those parts are corrupt or there is some mechanical damage to the drive after all. Random trivia time. Did you know IBM was credited for inventing and commercializing the hard drive back in 1957? It had a whopping 3.75 megabytes of storage capacity. To try and isolate this problem, I tried copying individual files or projects to see if this would work. Some did, some didn't. Eventually, after trying for two days, I managed to recover, I say, 90 plus percent of my files, which I'm more than happy to accept, especially since I thought I had lost everything in the first place. The key takeaway I want to say is, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. In all seriousness, backup, 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 and backup some more. If for whatever reason you drop your hard drive or it fails, and to be honest, all drives will fail at some point, not if, just when. If possible, don't do what I did here. It really was quite a stupid move. But having said that, if all hope is lost, perhaps this is worth a try as a last resort. In my case, I did the opposite and used it as my first resort. With that being said, my name is Joe, and if you made it this far into the video, I just want to say a huge thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, perhaps you could give me a like, leave a comment or even subscribe for more content like this. If not, consider watching these videos that YouTube suggests. I'll hopefully see you in the next video.